guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is May and my battery just died hi everyone and welcome or welcome back my name is May also known as Miss Leva here on YouTube and today I wanted to talk about travel accessories I wanted to show you guys the Louis Vuitton pieces that I specifically use just for travel. And then also since there is unfortunately this whole price increase dilemma going on, I did take the time to find some more affordable dupes or options instead of the Louis Vuitton pieces for you guys in case it was something that you were on the hunt for as well. So in this video, I'm basically going to show you how I use the items, what I use them for, and why it is that I specifically love these pieces. But like I said, I will also be including clips of items that I think do the exact same thing for a much friendlier price point now I will also be talking about price points depending when you are watching this video the prices for the Louis Vuitton pieces are probably higher keep in mind I personally invest in Louis Vuitton because not only do I really enjoy the fashion house and I really like these styles that I have added from them but also long term if I ever do decide to sell any of these pieces I know that I could most probably sell them for the same price if not at a premium so in some sort, these items are kind of like investment pieces, if you can call it that. Now, before I jump into the video, don't forget to subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. If you do enjoy these videos about handbag style, fashion, all that kind of good stuff, I would love for you to continue coming back and watching some more. All right, so the first piece that I will be getting into is probably the most important piece in a travel collection, in my opinion, and that is the Keep All 45. Now, I do have the one in the Damier Ben print simply because I feel like it's a lot more durable and a lot more carefree. The canvas option just gives you the ability to clean it if it does get dirty. It does have a few leather trims here and there, so that might get damaged over time, especially for a luggage piece. However, I'm comfortable with that knowing that the rest of the piece is pretty simple to take care of. In my case, I do travel with a carry-on item and a personal item. So the reason why I added the Keep All 45 was for this to be able to take over my personal item. Now the 45 is the biggest piece that you can take as a personal item and that is the reason why I decided to add it. However, I will say that I do not like the fact that it barely has any compartments inside for you to organize. If you were to opt for another piece as a personal item, you would probably have a little bit more compartments. And as you can see, the Keep All only offers this back pocket here for some sort of organization. The rest is just a big open spot. I know that you can buy organizers for it and such, but I think that that will take away from the space that the bag offers inside. So that is the reason why I haven't gone for it. What I do is just include pouches in order to keep myself organized with the items that I will be needing throughout the flight. And then one last thing that I love and highly recommend if you are considering adding this piece is the bandolier option. Mine has it available, it just has the strap inside. But I feel since this is a piece that you're gonna be carrying with you throughout the time that you're gonna be in the airport and when you get down and when you're gonna go get your luggage and so on and so forth, I really do feel like that bandolier option adds so much to the piece and I know it increases the price by a couple of hundred dollars but I feel if you're already investing in such a piece for that price you might as well go the extra mile and add the comfort that it offers. So as I said I will be discussing prices and this piece is currently running for $2,440 on the Louis Vuitton website here in the States. Now I did want to talk about a specific dupe in my opinion that will get the exact same job done. I'm going to put this down because it's very heavy. And the piece that I did find that I consider it to be a great alternative to the Louis Vuitton Kipa is the Michael Kors Beckford travel bag. I'll make sure to insert pictures and everything that I talk about today will be linked down below for you guys. But this one is literally like a fraction of the price it runs for about four hundred dollars i think it's 398 and remember with michael kors and these contemporary brands that i will be talking about most of them you can either find sales or a lot of the pieces do go on sale if it is a specific color that will go out of season so just keep that in mind but i did think that this was a great dupe for the key ball it comes in a ton of different colors it also has the bandolier option which is a thick canvas strap i think that strap will be super comfortable 
I also do love that it offers a ton of different pockets inside of the bag itself. And then the Michael Kors bag does also offer like a strap in the back that you can place on the handle of your carry-on if you are gonna put it on top of the carry-on so that it doesn't fall over or fall if you're running around the airport like a maniac. Now sticking with the personal item theme, I did wanna get into another piece that I have been contemplating about adding. I actually posted it up on my Instagram so I'll make sure to leave my Instagram somewhere here if you aren't already following me there. But I wanted to get like everyone's opinion about it and I definitely had a few of you reach out and share what you thought of the bag. But that is the Louis Vuitton on the go in the GM size. Now specifically, I recommend the GM size just because it's gonna be bigger, especially if you're gonna use it as a personal item. It's gonna allow you to place a lot more things inside. Guys. I am obsessed with this bag. However, I really cannot justify the price point for this piece. That doesn't take away the fact that the piece is absolutely stunning. I love the reverse monogram print on it. I feel like it's such a fun print for that bag, especially to use for travel. I like that it's canvas because once again, that's gonna make it really carefree. You know, I can just wipe it down if it does get dirty or anything like that. And then I really, really also like the fact that it does have a shoulder strap plus a top handle. So you can interchange between both depending what you're carrying the bag for at that moment. The only negative that I do see on that one is that it doesn't have a zipper closure. So you just have to be attentive to your bag and make sure that you just don't leave it, you know, somewhere randomly where you're not paying attention. Now getting into the alternative options for the Louis Vuitton on the go in the GM size, I did want to show you my Michael Kors my Michael Kors Kenley tote and this one was actually a gift from my mother-in-law so I'm really thankful that she actually got it for me because when I saw it on the store it gave me major major on the go vibes and I was like I think that this would be such a great travel bag I love the color of it it's also a canvas material so like I said it's really carefree and then it has that shoulder strap in a way this one is more of a crossbody so it's a little bit more comfortable. I just tend to carry it on the shoulder because I feel like crossbody, the bag is very cumbersome. So it's very bulky for my body frame. But I also do like the fact that it offers that top handle. This one as well does not have a zippered closure. So it just has a magnetic clasp here in order to close it. And then the most amazing part of this one is the price point. Guys, this was I think less than $150. I checked on their website and they currently have other colors right now in stock for sale at 159, 160 around there. And they normally run for about $400. So as I previously mentioned, if you're on the hunt to add some of these pieces, make sure that you wait it out for that sale or for a coupon code because you can get a great item at a really, really good price. Now the other option, which I will be including right here is the Marc Jacobs tote bag. And I think this line has been so, so popular lately. It's crazy. It's come out with a bunch of different sizes, a bunch of different colors. The Marc Jacobs Large Tote, I think it's what it's called. They have two options. They have a canvas one, which is about $215. And then they do have a leather one, which is $550. So even the leather one is still like one six, one eighth. I don't know. It's very, very, very inexpensive compared to the Louis Vuitton one. So that's why I wanted to show you guys. This one does also have a zipper. The only difference that I did notice was that it doesn't offer a top handle. It just has a shoulder strap, which is no big deal because as a personal item, I prefer the shoulder strap over a top handle. I think it's going to be a lot more comfortable to carry it on your shoulder than on the crook of your arm the whole time. Now let's move on to the smaller pieces that I have as my travel essentials from Louis Vuitton and one of them is the mini pochette. I love this little piece. I've talked about it a bunch of times so I won't be getting into too much details. I'll make sure to link any videos that I have on any of these items down below if you wanted to check them out. But I think that this piece is great to have as like your essentials for when you're on your flight and when you're around in the airport. You know, it's a great little size, so I think it carries a lot. I wanted to show you what I'm currently carrying because this is more or less what I would put inside even if I was using her for a trip. So I have a small little pen, I have a lip balm, 
It's a little pill box here. I have a cuticle oil. I have also my contact drop, some band-aids, a hair tie, also a panty liner, and then a small little nail clipper. For the most part, I would probably leave this behind on the trip, but that's currently what it has inside. So like I said, you can just carry your essentials that you know that you're gonna need maybe throughout the plane ride, and then it's an easy pouch that you can place inside your personal item and just grab as you were to need any of the things. I do like that, ooh! I will say that I did wish it had a wipeable interior rather than a fabric interior, but for the most part, you're technically not supposed to be using this for cosmetics, so I get why they did it like so, but sometimes I do put in some cosmetics very, very carefully and hope for the best. And then one last thing that I do like about the mini pochette is the versatility of it. So it has this little chain that you can interchange and unclip from this side and clip it onto the other side and make it a little wristlet, which I think is great if you wanted to just go out and carry it like so. Mine has the animation, but obviously I can always just turn it around and then carry it with this print. And I think it's perfect for a night out that you're just carrying a few things and you don't have to take out a full on handbag. Now, I know this one has totally been a hot topic on the recent price increase from Louis Vuitton. It went up to $745, guys, for a little pouch. <laughs> Blows my mind, really. But once again, that's a whole nother video that we can get into. So I did find like the exact dupe for it and I will go ahead and insert it right here. It is from Coach, but it's $50. $50 for an all leather pouch. I was actually talking to someone the other day, really quick side story, and I was telling her how like the prices of Louis Vuitton had gotten so crazy and you know, she wanted to add another bag that was in Empreinte, which is all leather. Okay, for an all leather bag, I guess some of the prices are acceptable. Once again, we're talking about luxury here, so just keep that in mind. But I was telling her that some of the canvas pieces were like over $2,000 and canvas isn't leather. She was so surprised. She was like, I cannot believe that. Like you just told me that and I had no idea. I thought that I was getting such a great durable bag. And don't get me wrong, the canvas in Louis Vuitton, for the most part, I have no complaints in any of my pieces. But once again, it's not leather, it's canvas, you know? So here we have Coach offering you the same piece, which is all leather. It's probably gonna be a lot more durable. It's gonna last you a lot longer. It's gonna look probably nicer depending what you're gonna use it for, and it's $50. So let's put my little rant aside, but I did find this one and I've actually seen them in store as well. And like I said, they're literally the exact same. They're the exact same size. They have the zipper. They also have the little detachable strap that you can hook on the other side. And they even offer slip pockets inside in case you wanna place like a couple of credit cards or your key card to your hotel or your room. So it actually gives you a little bit more of an organization inside of the piece itself. Now getting into another travel piece from Louis Vuitton that I have been completely obsessed with and that is the Toiletry 26. Now, I know, unfortunately, these are not available on the website, at least the exact same one. They do currently have the Voyager MM. I believe that's the name of them, and they run for about $1,300. The only difference that I did notice is that's more of like a full-on clutch, so it does have slip pockets for cards, and then the inside is not a wipeable um, inside lining like the toiletry is but it more or less gives you the same effect in case you wanted to add one specifically from Louis Vuitton. But mine here, like I mentioned, is the Toiletry 26. It is in the canvas and I was lucky enough to be able to add this when all the craziness started that they were going to be discontinued and I am so happy that I did. I love how slim lined this pouch is just simply because I do feel like some toiletries can carry a lot more items, but they could be really, really bulky. And like I said, I try traveling with a carry-on and a personal item only, and for that reason, the more space I have to play with, the better. And then the other thing that I do love about this one is that it's multi-purpose in my opinion. You know, you use it to carry your toiletries to get to your destination, and then once you're there, you have an additional bag that you can use. So I love using this as a clutch. 
I love adding a chain to it and using it as a shoulder bag. I do have a video styling it, so I'll make sure to link that down below for you guys, but it offers a different purpose and it allows me to carry one piece with various options on how to use it. I did quickly want to mention that even though it is not currently on the Louis Vuitton website, they do have pre-loved options on other websites that I bought from previously. I recommend you do your own research, but I will link some options down below and they are running for about $1,000. I think I got mine for about 540, 560. So that's where you go ahead and see the premium that you can charge for some specific Louis Vuitton items if they are discontinued or if they are really hard to come across. And that is one of the reasons why I've chosen to add some of these pieces from the fashion house aside obviously the fact that I just really love them. And then the option that I did find for the toiletry 26 is actually this little Tory Birch pouch. And I was surprised to find something so, so similar. The toiletry 26 is 26 centimeters in length as the name states and the Tory Burch one is 29 centimeters. So it's very similar in even the size of it. This one, however, does have some more compartments inside that you can play with. I think it has two slip pockets and then also the inside lining is microfiber. So just keep that in mind because that is a little bit more of a sensitive lining if you're going to be placing cosmetics inside. But it also offers that nice like monogram look to it and I love the navy color. So overall I think it's really a great piece and the price is under $500 if I'm not mistaken. I think it's a great option if you're looking to add a piece similar to the toiletry 26 but obviously don't want to pay the current premium of it. And then last but not least, I wanted to mention my most favorite travel handbag that I love from this fashion house in general. And that is my Speedy B 25 in the bandolier option. I'm sure that this comes at no surprise to those of you that have been watching me for a while. But this is a bag that I think is the perfect it bag for travel. I love the versatility of the bandolier as well as the top handle. It does have a ton of different prints to choose from, but I personally love the Damier Ben for the reasons that I've mentioned before. I think that it's a nice print that you can match with anything, whether you're dressing up or whether you're just wearing sneakers and jeans. And then I also feel like it's a lot more carefree. The fact that the leather handles are treated with this darker leather makes it easier for you to be able to wear the bag, whether it's snowing, whether it's raining, whether it's sunny, whatever the season is, I feel very, very comfortable carrying this bag. And I personally love it as a travel piece because it's super easy to pack. As you can see, you can just put it down like so and it becomes very, very slim in order for you to pack it in a personal item or in your carry-on. And then once you make it to your destination, you just open her up and she is good to go for some exploring. Now this one here is currently running at about 1820 if I'm not mistaken. However, they are very, very difficult to come across. So in the pre-loved market, they're obviously selling for a premium. Now, if you don't want to wait or just don't want to spend the type of money on that bag, I did find this one here for you guys. And it is again from Tory Burch. I think this is like the exact same size as the Speedy B25. It measures 25 centimeters in length and that is one of the main things that I love specifically about the 25 because even though the Speedy does come in different sizes, I personally think that for travel purposes, the 25 is perfect. Now the Tory one is fully fabric and it does have specific leather trims, which I feel like add that extra oomph to the bag itself. It also has a super thick strap, which I actually think would be a lot more comfortable than the leather one from Louis Vuitton. Just because a canvas strap is always going to sit on your shoulder a lot better while a leather strap will have to mold over time so it'll take a little bit of breaking in and then it also offers pockets inside for some organization. The only con that I just personally didn't like about the Tory one is that the top handle straps basically just stay upright the whole time. I'll make sure to insert a picture. I like that the speedy straps will fall like so once I have her here on the side. The Tory Burch, I'm sure just the handles will stay like that. That can be a little bit bothersome. You know, it can hit you in the wrong spots maybe depending on your height. 
So that was really the only con that I found on the Tory Burch compared to this one. And then once again, that one is at a much lower price. It is about $500 compared to the $1,900 of the Louis Vuitton. And like I mentioned, I know Tory does some great, great deals throughout the year. I think in April and September, they have like specific tiered discounts. So like 25% if you spend a certain amount or 30% if you spend a certain amount. So if you can wait it out, just go ahead and do so to see if you get lucky and can save even a little bit more on a specific piece. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is my video of sharing my top travel pieces that I currently have from Louis Vuitton. But I also wanted to take a little bit of time and find those dupes for you in case that you were interested in adding these pieces. If you didn't feel like spending the money on Louis Vuitton was worth it, which I totally understand, or if it was just pieces that are no longer available and you wanted to find something similar. I just wanted to bring options for you guys. You know that I love talking about luxury handbags and I love adding luxury handbags to my collection, but I'm all about finding different ways to balance it all out. I do affordable fashion. I love contemporary handbags from time to time as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video overall. Let me know if you have any of these pieces, what you love about them or what you hate about them. Also, let me know if I missed out on any specific dupe that I should have mentioned. Make sure to leave me a comment down below in the comment section, as well for those that are still searching for other alternative options, they can go ahead and read the comments as well and come across different options that I might have missed. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And as always, thank you so, so much for taking some time out of your day to watch this video. And I hope to catch you in my next one. Bye everyone.